Over the last few years, Fortnite has been developing a storyline featuring important characters like Agent Jones, The Rock, and now Optimus Prime for some reason. Yeah, the, the lore is kind of a mess right now, but those three aren't who I'm going to be talking about today. Today I'm going to be talking about one of the main antagonists, Dr. Sloane, and why she shouldn't be alive in the current storyline. Sloane is one of the main antagonists in the Fortnite storyline, working for a group called the Imagined Order, IO for short. Not much is known about them, but what we do know is that their supposed leader is Geno. Geno, sir. I'm just kidding, his name's actually Geno, but they do sound similar. Because of Geno's absence in the IO, Sloane has kind of taken over as their leader. Sloane has somehow managed to survive countless near-death experiences such as falling out of a flaming UFO after it was exploded by thousands of bombs, drilling through a whole island while being underwater, and our main focus of today, surviving being crushed by a giant mech arm. This whole incident happened during the live event in Chapter 3, Season 2. Near the end of the event, when we were stopping the collider, our path was blocked off by Dr. Sloane in a tank. After Agent Jones failed to negotiate with her, the arm of the giant mech we were piloting in the first half crushed her and the tank, leaving us to assume that she was dead until we saw her again in Chapter 4, Season 3. Popular YouTubers theorized that she lived because she ducked into the hidey hole and closed the hatch at the last second. I don't know the anatomy of a tank, so if you know what's that called, let me know in the comments, I'll hard it. Leaving her to be alive. But that's not possible, let's break down why. To make sure that these measurements are absolutely perfect, I got my cousin to place floors above my head as I was dressed up as Sloan to measure how tall the mech is compared to her. Trust me, this will be important in a bit. After grueling 10 or so minutes of doing that, we determined that the mech is a whopping 28.5 Sloan's tall, but for simplicity, we'll just say it's 29. How do we know how tall Sloane is, you may ask? Using the sweat sign emote from Chapter 4 Season 2, we can see that Sloane is around 185 centimeters tall, with hair. That's 6 foot if you didn't know. Now we multiply 6 by 29, we get 174, meaning that the mech that crushed Sloane is roughly 174 feet tall. This is the part where the math crumbles to the ground, so if I did anything wrong in this section, correct me in the comments. I'll heart every comment that does, and pin the first comment that does it right. After using a feet pound to pound converter, I have no clue if that's what we're looking for, but we're just gonna roll with it. I found out that 174 foot pounds is 2,088 regular pounds, converting that to kilograms we get 947. Assuming that the mech's weight is divided equally, one arm of the mech should weigh 189.4 kilograms, but we'll round that down to 189, leaving us with 416 pounds of steel. By doing some extensive research, googling it, we can see that the human body can withstand 400 psi pounds per square inch if the weight is gradually increased. In this case it isn't, so she'd probably get splat on the spot, but we're forgetting about one thing. Luckily for me, I don't need to do the more math to figure out how much the tank can, well, tank. If you're new to the game or forgot, tanks were a drivable vehicle back in Chapter 3 Season 2, so we can see that one Fortnite tank has 2,500 HP. That may seem like a lot, but when you realize that a bullet deals around 30 damage to the tank, you also realize that the tank would get obliterated near instantly. She couldn't get out of the tank since she ducked into it, so there's no escaping the mech arm of doom. When the mech arm hits the tank, we can safely assume that the tank's health instantly drops to zero, leaving it to explode in seconds. The tank would have been crushed like a soda can with Sloane inside, flattening her in the blink of an eye. Her body would then be exploded and she'd die if she hadn't already. You could argue that she had shield to tank the explosion, but it probably would have been destroyed when the tank got flattened. Unless her savior can travel through time and to keep her alive, she's dead for sure. What do you think about Sloane surviving? Do you think she should have lived like most of the community, or do you think that she should have been crushed like I did? Let's discuss it in the comments. <laughs> 